Today we're going to be working on a 24 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia. I have a discount code link for you down in the description. And then I am going to be using all the products from my January designer box. If you guys want more information about these, I always announce it in my Diamonds and Dust Facebook group. So make sure you join that. There's also a link down below. I am cutting the first vinyl out with the weave template and then I am going to take my Cami Page Boutique line making tool. This will, it's actually a tumbler tool of all tumbler tools, but I use it a lot for just making a straight line down the cup. Then when I go to place my template, it's on straight every time the first time and I don't have to mess with it. So I just take and tuck back that backing on the template and line it up with the line and then I will just wrap it around my tumbler and keep pushing it until the backing is all the way off. Now you can go ahead and remove your transfer tape. Now on the plump files, the template files, I left them a little long on purpose. So if you ever buy one of my template files for the plumps, a couple of them are long. And the reason I did that is because sometimes I like to take it down and around the edge for a nice clean edge. And so if you don't want it, like on this one, I didn't want to wrap it around the edge, the bottom edge. So I just took my cup trimming tool and trimmed a little bit off the top and a little bit off the bottom. Now you're going to find the pieces of the template that you want to remove to glitter first. And I started off with just the deep V part on the template. And I kind of did this a little bit backwards because I decided to add more. But once I took off that deep V section, I went ahead and taped it off. Normally, I just kind of freehand it, but I kind of wanted to be sloppy today. <laughs> so I taped it off. And I'm just kind of marking right here on the tumbler where I want to do the ombre. And I am taking straight chalk paint, no glitter glue at this point. And I'm going to paint the top section kind of this light, very, very light creamish tan and then I'm going to blend that down into a light peachy pink these are both from Miss Lillian's but you can use a chalk paint or acrylic paint of your choice So once I got this top pa part painted, I decided I really liked the look of that ombre and I wanted to add more to my tumbler. So I just lifted up the tape and removed the bottom sections that were the thick part as well. And then when went back in with my peach and my tan and blended that out as well. Now that your paint is dry, we're going to go over those sections with some sort of glitter glue. We're going to do the top section first and then we'll go on to the bottom section so it doesn't dry too quick and it gives us a little bit of working time to ombre these. And I am starting with this insanely gorgeous peachy pink called Blossoms and I'm just going to do part of that just on the bottom and then we're going to go on with Drizzle which drizzle totally has my heart it is just 
so freaking soft and pretty. It's like a really light tan glitter. I've never seen anything like it. You just have to have it in your collection. So just do the top part of that. And then we're going to go back and tip our cup and go back in with blossoms and kind of let that cascade down. And then tip your cup the other way and take your drizzle and make a beautiful blend by just tipping your cup down the other way and letting it cascade down into the glitter. Now you're going to remove the tape around the glitter sections and then take the bottom section and do the exact same thing by adding glitter glue and then ombreing that drizzle and a blossom glitters together. Once you have your glitters ombre the way you like them, go ahead and remove all of the tape if you taped off. And then we are going to remove the other sections we are going to be doing in our green glitter called Sprout. And on this tumbler template, it is all the way around the two sections we just glittered. And then there's like a thinner diamond shape in the center on the back that we're going to remove as well. Now that all of your sections are removed, we're going to go on with our next glitter color, which is this really pretty dark green. So I am going to take a coordinating chalk paint. You can use acrylic paint, that's totally fine. And I'm kind of making a mixture of 50% glitter, glitter glue, excuse me, and then 50% paint. And then we are going to paint those sections on with a paintbrush in just small sections and then apply our glitter on the paint and glue mixture while it is still wet. And continue on in small sections until you have all of that stainless steel covered in your glitter. Now I'm going to remove the bigger diamond on the back of the template while that glitter glue mixture is still wet. And then while that is drying, we are going to move on to the bottom. So I am just carefully going around that bottom rim with the same green paint and then coating the bottom in the color Sprout. Once your glitter glue and glitter has completely dried take your tumbler and spray seal it really well i like to do 
two to three heavier coats with Rust-Oleum or Krylon's Triple Thick. Let that dry completely and then we can move on to our next step. I really wanted to incorporate these really cute stripes in this tumbler that came in the designer box. So I decided to add it to this big diamond on the back. I just selected this section of the template in Silhouette Program and cut the diamond out of the stripes. Then I am going to just carefully place it in between the glitter that we just sealed and line it up the best that I can. Now you are going to epoxy your tumbler until smooth. Just depending on the epoxy thickness you use or brand, it could take two coats. Then I cut out these thin vinyl stripes on my silhouette in this really cute kind of peachy pink color. And we are just going to go right where the colors butt together and stripe out this entire tumbler. Now you are going to epoxy your tumbler until smooth. I decided not to add a decal on this tumbler. I sometimes just feel that the templates speak for themselves and I just loved how it looked without. So once I get this coated, your tumbler will be all finished. And here she is in all of her glory. I am completely obsessed with this designer box and its colors, and I just love how this tumbler turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. Join me on all other social media platforms under Diamonds and Dust, and thanks so much for watching.